Hi, we're here live tonight as uh, holding a vigil for the people who have passed. Eleven people die every day over the fact that Medicaid has not been expanded to all Virginians. There are 400,000 people in Virginia who would benefit from Medicaid expansion. And of that 400,000, 11 people die every day because they can't get medical. We are here because we feel that we need to pray that God will change the hearts of the senators and have them exercise compassion for the people in their districts. You know, there may be only four of us here, but Jesus said, wherever three or four are gathered together in my name, I am there with you. And that's why we're here tonight. And a lot of people don't realize the ripple effects of Medicaid expansion. In addition to the 400,000 people who would be who would suddenly have health care, that means that with health care they don't put off treatment. They don't wait until things are in, incurable. They get treatment early. It also frees up Commonwealth money so that teachers get raises, police officers get raises, professional uh, first responders get raises. There's a lot of money that's available from the federal, federal government for Medicaid expansion, and that frees up Virginia to help more of its, of its citizens. In my job as a guardian ad litem for children, I've met several, numerous families actually, who could benefit by Medicaid expansion, and they are in that um, gap where they are working long hours, working a difficult job, but can't afford health insurance. And they don't qualify for Medicaid at this stage. So I would like to see those families that I work with be able to um, get health insurance and be able to um, provide for their kids and their family. So in the Jewish tradition, when somebody passes away, you light a candle in memory of them and then they ask you to light a candle in memory of that person every year on the anniversary of their passing away and so we have brought candles here in that same tradition so you know we could stand here and spout this fact and that fact and the other fact but the thing that we are all doing is we are trying to reach these senators as human beings we are trying to touch their humanity. The very first thing we ever did about Medicaid expansion was, where's your moral compass? It's really still the same thing. One senator who passed us today said, well, he was voting his conscience, but we didn't elect him to vote his conscience. We elected him to do the will of the people. 83% of the people want them to expand Medicaid. More than half of the people in every one of their districts, the Republican senators, want Medicaid expansion. They work for us. They have to do what we want them to do, not what they want to do. They have lost a sense of reality. We are here to take our power back. And there's one last thing. Tomorrow, the Americans for Prosperity, a group funded by the Koch brothers, are going to be holding a press conference today at then. And they're going to be telling people all kinds of facts and figures claiming that Medicaid expansion is going to hurt the Virginia budget. Now, we're not going to argue with them about that. We know that their figures are wrong. But we are not here to speak for the figures, for the math. We are here to speak for people who can't speak for themselves. And what we would ask those people who are having a press conference tomorrow is where is your humanity? In what, in all those facts and figures, do ordinary, individual, hardworking people fit in? People who need their senators to represent them and make their lives a little bit easier by passing Medicaid expansion. Tomorrow is for a special press conference uh, instead of Virginia Senators meeting. Former U.S. Senator from Pennsylvania, Rick Santorum, 
Virginia State Senator Thomas Norman, who is supposed to be in the Senate voting, J.C. Hernandez, State Director for Americans for Vos Prosperity in Virginia, funded by the Koch brothers, Ben Knotts, Grassroots Director for Americans for Prosperity, Virginia, the Middle Resolution. Tell about that. Talk about the, the and Middle Resolution are the people who brought Sebastian Gorka Sebastian to Gorka town to, about three weeks ago. And Sebastian Gorka was too much of a fascist for even the Trump yes, yes. Uh, they got rid of administration. Correct. They fired him, so right. he's coming. The Virginians for Quality Health Care, the Family Foundation. What family benefits from no Medicaid expansion? Bishop Leon Benjamin, don't know who, don't he, know is. who he is. And no. Santorum is a Pennsylvania failed politician. Definitely. And he's always been to the extreme. Yes. Always. Extreme. He's never extreme ever extreme right. been a person who wants to work with anybody in any respect. So why do you think Tommy Norman needs these people to come tomorrow? Well, because he can't get Virginians to come and support his position. Want, want and because the most, the majority of Virginians support Medicaid expansion. Right. Okay. And he is trying to convince various groups that in fact Virgin that is a bad idea for Virginians. Right. But Virginians have already voted yeah. and they want Medicaid expansion. But That's they also why see this as a death knell. They want to bring down the ACA too. Come on, it's not just right. Medicaid it's expansion. It's also it's also it's they're still working on repeal and yes, replace I mean, Obamacare. Just, they didn't have anything exactly. to replace it with. Exactly. They don't have anything to replace Medicaid with. Right. It's just tear everything down. Right. And they, they see that we do well with this, then we're building ACA back up. Do you mean giving it some kind of strength and foundation within the state? And they don't want to see that. Nobody, nobody in that, you know, Santorum and those people just don't want to see it. And we have put the senators on notice that we are not going to accept them refusing to do their jobs. Their jobs are to represent the people of their district. The, ma the vast majority of the people in their districts are for Medicaid expansion. But they feel like, in secret, in these sessions that they have, that they think nobody's going to show up and witness that they can vote however they want, however their Republican bosses and the insurance companies tell them they should vote. And as, as Virginians who support Medicaid expansion, we will be here. We will witness what's going on. Okay, we're getting a viewership, so keep talking. And, okay. and so it's Americans for, Pro for Prosperity, yes. the ultra-conservative group, versus the grassroots grandmas here. And we've been here for, for a couple of years now fighting for Medicaid expansion here in Virginia. So American for Prosperity, let's we'll take you on tomorrow, okay? We'll and, be here. And we are here for the people who can't be here, who have to work jobs that don't yes. offer health care, who are too young or too old or too incapacitated to be out here protesting. We are not protesting, we are advocating. We are advocating for Virginians. We are Virginians, we are advocating for Virginians. And in my opinion, the minute I saw that Rick Santorum was coming, I knew that that meant that we have had some success because they wouldn't bring him down and these people here right before the vote if that was not you know something they were worried about. They wouldn't have bothered with this. So I think this is really significant in a way. It's frightening, <laughs> but it's significant, Jimmy, that, that they're coming. And the so. Senate is supposed to convene at 9 a.m. Yes. And yet they scheduled this press conference 10 for 1045 before they vote. So are they just going to keep kicking this can down the road? They know the Senate wants this, the people of Virginia want, th want this. They're just digging in their heels. And we want to ask everybody who's watching tonight and everybody who is going to see this video that gets shared, if you can come to Richmond tomorrow, come. It doesn't take, it's not a particularly long drive if you can make it carpool. But show up because they don't want witnesses. 
the, the people, the senators who are going to try to defeat Medicaid expansion don't want witnesses. The best way that a democracy can flourish is if citizens get involved and let their representatives know that they better represent them or they'll be voted out. And LWCC members pay attention to all this, what's going on right now, because you realize that we basically need a total and basically we need to start showing that we have a lot of power within this state. The Republicans have controlled everything within this state for a long time and I think it's absolutely ridiculous it's when time it comes to, to reclaim Senate. our power. De definitely. We have power within <laughs> ourselves and we haven't shown that for a long time. We have to get out there and do that. So please, and then also just keep sending, am I right? Text. Just keep sending Marilyn more and more things, tweeting, Tweet. texting, emailing, calling. Has anybody had any success with calls? Remember, we were having problems with the calls. They don't answer the phone. They're not yes. answering? Jill Vogel in particular, every time anybody in Fauquier Indivisible tries to call her, and we call her three and four and five times a day at different times, and it always goes to voicemail. Hey, Jill. When are you going to represent your people? Show up at her office. Show up at your senator's office is tomorrow. It's right across it's the street from the Capitol and leave a message. Most of us are stirred up. Leave a message. So, Mine yeah. is Richard Stewart. Um, but to, for we know that this is serious, and we need to be here tomorrow to show that we don't want these outside Virginia groups here in Virginia tomorrow to fight against Medicaid Definitely. expansion, to fight against the, the citizens of Virginia. That's what those groups are going to be here tomorrow for, the outside Virginia groups brought in here by our, not ours, but by the Virginia Republicans to fight against Medicaid expansion. And the Koch brothers. And the and billionaire the Koch, brothers. Koch brothers who are willing to spend any amount of money they can to keep Virginians from having the health care that they need. And the Koch brothers don't even live here. And you guys remember that we've talked about this, the dark money issue. So this is not just a problem, Jimmy, with just Medicaid expansion. This is all has to do with the money that's in this state and the Koch brothers. And you guys all know we did this talks for um, uh, what's her name that did the book? I'm like, Democracy in Chains. I've gone totally blind, literally. Um, McLean. She came down and talked to us about what's been happening in Virginia. So it's not just this. I'm trying to get you guys to pay attention, LWCC, that it's not just this. It's a bigger picture. This is just a start, though. And you have to start somewhere, and it has to be here right now to take a stand. So come on down tomorrow, do whatever you can, just keep going. I know everybody's at the debate. I'm gonna put this up on the page. So just come on down and do things. Thanks, Marilyn, go ahead. So one thing you can do is write them a letter and mail it to them because they have to record that they got your letter and they have to respond to you. So it makes work come down and hand them your letter in person, okay? And just keep going. We are definitely winning. It's a long slug. And I don't care how much money the Koch brothers spent here, it doesn't work. We know that in Western Prince William County, they spent gazillions of dollars and we still got people elected. Money doesn't help them. Big signs don't help them because we have the people with the passion right. and that makes all the difference. Also, we should talk about who's going to be down here tomorrow, hopefully group-wise, okay? We're talking Planned Parenthood. Who else should be coming, me, we hope, down here? The I indivisible are. groups. Indivisible groups. groups. Uh, uh, SEIU. SEIU. SEIU, the union. Virginia New Majority. Right. Healthcare for All Virginia, right? NARAL. NARAL's going to be here too. Yes, so they were basically, here. Basically, come on down, come along. There's going to be a large group of people. We we are fill the gallery again. We, we did today, yep. and I already posted that. That's been up. People have been talking about it. So just keep that also, up. Also, Progress Virginia. Right. All oh, right. They've been good. They've been did very good. These groups have been spectacular. These. I think I think we've got most of them. 
I think. And there's a few of us from LWC. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Medicaid expansion. When do we want it? Now. Dear Republican senators, do your job. Please pass Medicaid expansion tomorrow. Listen to your constituents. The Keep Commonwealth of Virginia wants Medicaid expansion. Show that you have some humanity. The 11 candles you see in this image, that represents people who died this week. Please help other people so they won't die. If you have any morals, then you will pass Medicaid expansion. Medicaid!